Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Civil Labeler tool with the F.Connect Connect workspace in OpenBridge Modeler. So the one nice thing about the F.Connect Connect 10.10.01 release is it now supports OBM 10.10.20, and in that version of OBM they gave us access to the Civil Labeler tool, which is a really good tool and something that we have set up in the, the resources now to take advantage of, so I just want to show how that tool is used here. So I'm going to go ahead and access the Civil Labeler tool through the Reports and Drawings tab, and it's right here. And we do have, we did kind of port over all of our previously defined labels into the Civil Labeler tool, and you, you'll be able to find them here in the plan and in the profile elevation here. I'll first kind of focus here on the plan view one, and the common one that we're going to use is probably the the pier station label here. So that's this is just going to label the the station of a, a pier line here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, make sure the rotation is view horizontal, in place. And then I can just look down here at the bottom to see what the instructions are for this particular label. So it says select alignment and identify target point. So I'm going to select my alignment, and I'm going to label this pier line here by doing an intersection snap between the alignment and that pier line to get that point. And the nice thing about the Civil Labeler tool is the leaders are much more intelligent. So if I kind of rotate around here, it automatically goes to the other side as I would want it to. Whereas the old label tool didn't, didn't really do this very well. So I go ahead and drop this and you'll see the placeholder field for plan annotation point station will automatically update with the current station. And the nice thing about this is if this pier line moves, if for some reason span gets longer or this, you know, moves back, this station will automatically update itself. And then the only thing really that is dynamic about this, or that's a, a data field, is the, the gray here, which is the station. All the other stuff I can click on in here and open it up and then just say whatever this is. In this case, this was you know an end bend, so I can say you know, front face, back wall, and bend one or something like that. And then another kind of use case for this would be um, maybe like a station offset. So say we had a you know light pole foundation or something like that out here. I'll just draw a simple circle just for the kind of demonstration purposes here. And then let's say I wanted to label the station and the offset of that particular uh, foundation here. So I can use the same thing. I can go to the civil labeler tool. And I'm going to go to the plan view because that's the view that I'm in. And I'm going to do the station offset in place. And same thing, identify alignment and or select alignment, identify point target. So I'll select my alignment and I'll look at the center of this foundation here. I'll go ahead and drop that in there. And we see station you know, 627, 93 plus 49, and then 57.14 left. So that's perfect. And the really neat thing about this label is because of the settings that I used, which I'll go back there and show them real quick. I made sure when I used this that I had all of these associations turned on down here. And when I do that, say this light pole foundation moves, say you know, the lighting group decides to move this uh, back and into the left or something like that, right? So this thing gets moved, watch, this label will automatically move with it and the station the offset will change as well. So station offset automatically updated as this moves, so it follows along with it and it updates the information in the label, which is really nice. So we can play this, place this label once, and we don't have to worry about things moving and our label being broken. We're having to go back to relabel things. And that's it for the Civil Labeler tool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and share with others. I'll see you guys in the next video.